Now, cancer is a topic that makes up a lot of discussions here in Kenya of late. Cervical cancer, of course, being one of the types of cancer that is a killer disease of mothers, sisters, and aunties. We asked some Kenyans if they or their loved ones have ever gone for screening and why. Take a look. Cancer is a topic on many Kenyans' discussions of late. Cervical cancer is one such topic. It is a killer disease of our mothers, sisters, and aunties. I asked some Kenyans if they or their loved ones have ever gone for screening and why. Sijai fanya screening, lakini nilifanya wakati nilikuwa na mtoto ya kwanza na sijai rudia. Eni mesafanyua, unajua kansa, sikuizi na jificha, so niliona ni vizuri ni eni kafanyua. No. Okay, we've not had a reason why we should visit a, a cancer screening, whatever, center or something. I, I don't know about my sisters, but I know about my wife. She does regularly. For the sake of uh, checking her uh, health. No. Uh, because what you don't know won't kill you. Not for cervical cancer, but I've gone for breast cancer screening. Not yet, because I don't have those complicates, complications. That feedback would explain the low screening uptake of cervical cancer reported in the country. It is reported to be less than 4%. The access of screening techniques is not available to, to the general public. To understand this cancer, do we know what causes it? Bacteria, nini, lakini sana sana uwa inakua infection na inakua treated. Cells zina multiply kwa cervical now especially mutu maybe aje pata mtoto sometimes they they, they, they na zina multiply maybe in your bloodline there's one maybe your grandmother or anyone in the family has had such having sex before the age of maturity the sexual partners i guess i hear hpv and then it transforms maybe into cervical cancer i'm not sure uh, partners or uh, family planning what actually causes cervical cancer infection with uh, HPV virus. 99.7% of uh, cervical cancer, including the precancerous abnormalities, are caused by HPV. Being a sexually transmitted disease, what are the risk factors to getting this cancer? Is smoking. That there are many chemical products in tobacco smoke. Early uh, age uh, sexual, sexual debut, having uh, a partner who has multiple partners. A woman who's had uh, either a mother or a sister with cervical cancer. Women who've given birth multiple times uh, apparently also have an increased uh, risk. Cervical cancer has often been discussed as a female cancer, but do men have a role in this? There are different ways of early detection of cervical cancer. The usual ways are the pap smears, which detects likely cancerous changes in the cervix, or visual inspection by a doctor. With advancement in technology, new ways are being introduced. This is the device that's being used uh, currently and which has been studied extensively that is used for self-collection. COBAS uh, is a screening test. And uh, the fact that it is only testing for uh, the types of HPV that are associated with cervical cancer means that a woman who has a different type of HPV that would not otherwise have caused cancer will not undergo unnecessary invasive procedures. This, however, does not mean the current ways of screening will stop. Availability and access of screening is still a challenge and women are still encouraged to get screening before getting symptomatic. At the inception, it will have no symptoms whatsoever. And by the time the symptoms are developing, the cancer has probably destroyed the surrounding tissue and spread to other areas. And we do not want 
to capture women at that point when they already have the disease. The ideal situation is prevention of the cancer or vaccination which is available in the country. Cervical cancer is one of the cancers that can be found early through regular pap smears and now testing for the high-risk human papilloma virus, the virus responsible for the cancer. Dr. Masi Korid for Health Digest, KTN News. Thank <laughs> you.